Welcome to Gluten-Free Best Friend. Today, I'm going to be making a angel food cake, and I will be topping it with some pineapple and mint fruit topping and some of the so delicious cocoa whip. So nothing really goes better than coconut and pineapple in my opinion, so I'm going to kind of shy away from the traditional strawberry topping, which is also delicious, but to try something a little bit different. For today's recipe, we're gonna need some rice flour, some coconut flour, powdered sugar, regular sugar, egg whites, cream of tartar, mint, chocolate chips, and cocoa whip, and some pineapple. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is mix up the flours, my xanthan gum, uh, some of the salt, and the powdered sugar. Okay, so now that the flours are all mixed together, I am just going to dump it into this bowl and save it for later so I can mix up the eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in my egg whites. This is 12 egg whites. So it's about half, one and a half cups. Okay, now I'll add the cream of tartar. There we go. And now I can just mix it up until it's nice and frothy. And I'll slowly put this in. It takes a really long time, but this is how you get the fluffiness of the angel food cake. So it's worth the wait, I promise. But I'm really impatient, so it's hard for me. Let's look at it, check and see. See what we got. Yeah, there's no peak there. We gotta keep going. <laughs> okay, so it's getting a little bit stiffer here. We're about ready. So I'm gonna add my almond extract and my vanilla extract while it's going. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's ready. Oh yeah, we got a good stiff peak in there. You see that? So what I'm going to do now is um, slowly and very carefully add in my flour. I'm actually gonna do it by hand because I don't want to flatten or kill the eggs too much. Uh, I want them to stay as fluffy as possible. So I will be using a good old fashioned spatula. Okay, so it's all folded together. Um, and so now I'm going to add it to my angel food cake pan. So just go ahead and pour it in. So my oven is preheated to 350, so I'm going to put it in for about 40 to 45 minutes. Um, I'll keep my eye on it, and while it's cooking, I can get the pineapple mint fruit topping ready. Okay, so to make this pineapple fruit topping, I'm just going to cut up my pineapple into small pieces um, and just toss it into a bowl with a little bit of agave and mint, and that's pretty much it. Okay, for the mint, I'm just going to pluck off a few leaves chop it up and add it to it. Okay, and now I will just add a little bit of the agave. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit on top. And I'm gonna go ahead and just let that sit in the fridge and chill. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes. Um, I have my pineapple, I have a bottle of wine. Not to drink. This is to put the uh, angel food cake pan on upside down so it kind of holds it and it can cool off all around. So I'm gonna grab it and see how it looks. I am just going to flop it up upside down and put it over my bottle of wine and let it just chill for a little bit. Oh look, it came right out. Yay! Okay. So exciting. So here it is. Oh, it's really good. Alright, so I'm going to just cut a piece here. There we go. Here's my piece of angel food cake. Like this, like that. And now I can use my so delicious cocoa whip whipped cream, which is incredible. Put some of that on top. Get on there. Maybe a little bit more. Just cause. It's so good. And the finishing touch is a little bit of melted Enjoy Life chocolate. So gluten-free and dairy-free chocolate. We'll just kind of drizzle that. Come on. Yeah. All right, here we go. A little bit of everything. Mm. 
That is really, really good. Mmm. Seriously though, this Cocoa Whip, best invention ever. And I think these, uh, the pineapple and the mint with the whipped cream and everything, it's like a, it's like a mojito cake. <laughs> it's so good. Mmm. If you'd like some more detailed instructions of how you can make this recipe, be sure to check the link to the blog in the description below and you'll also be able to find information on where you can find some Cocoa Whip yourself. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.